Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sequel Rim here and welcome to the last three raven fights that I had and those might I say myself were some masterfully executed raven fights because I was pushing hard to finish it in three pips because I wanted to show my boys the rewards on the live stream again links to the live stream channel will be in the description and I did my absolute best over here managed to come and dropped her a few times and the last time I didn't manage to again she's got weird basic attacks and I got weird basic attacks since we're pretty much playing the same character so it's a little bit iffy with a combo interruption, king back in for a special 2. If you're wondering about the artifact, I have a level 4 sword of uh, salvation on king, a level 1 sword of sin on raven, and a level 1 trigon staff on dr fate. So the sword of salvation will definitely help out with the damage, but it's not like we have maxed out chaos artifacts, so it's not gonna be huge amount of help. But the passive sword of salvation is gonna help a lot here. King in for a special tree. We're not gonna be able to stay here for two of them because we need to tag in with Raven to refresh the darkness. It's very important that you don't let it expire because it will take a lot of time of the fight to put that back in. And I did the block tagging over there. Raven back in for another special one. And now I think we're going to get to the point where we can do two special trees with King Partagon. Already because we got the uh, Sword of Salvation giving us that uh, power draining and power stealing from the enemy. Could have uh, maybe done another special tree in there but you need to do only two of them partaking if you're using the strategy because then you are going to let your stack expire with Draven. Now I'm going to try my best to get to close to a 40 hit combo over here before doing the super move because super move is huge damage. There we go and we got 17 million on that super move because we went to a high combo that's totally worth it. Raven in there, refreshing that darkness. King back in. Special tree in there. Re-engage the combo. And we'll go for another special tree. We'd have gone for one more, but again, we would have lost the darkness. You need to you need to kind of behave yourself in that scenario and not be tempted to do it once more. Another one in there. Re-engage the combo, power steal kicks in, another one, you're very likely for your power steal to kick in because uh, as I said it stacks with, with fast stack chance so even though now I'd have let's say a 30% chance to power steal it's actually uh, a 60% chance if I trigger a fast stack chance so it's overall great. Another spear in there. And yeah honestly I think Silver Banshee would benefit a little bit more from Raven here than King would. Or maybe just as much. I, but uh, I didn't really think it would have been worth it to test that out since uh, I was kind of guaranteed to finish her soon enough anyway. So let's just go with the safe ones. Okay, there we go. That's the king fight. And honestly, I think this went perfectly. Except for a combo interruption that we missed at the start, this went perfectly. So we got 15 million more damage. And over here on stream, I started to panic a bit because. Uh, I had Black Manta, I had Silver Banshee, and uh, Black Manta can deal up to 30 million damage, Silver Banshee can deal up to 20 million damage. So in theory I could do this, but I would need to play it perfectly. So over here we're using Brainiac and just League Flash. Brainiac is still worth using here, because um, even though he doesn't li give little attack chance and little attack damage, it's still worth for that uh, damage that he gives to Black Manta anyway. Super move out of the way. We had a little bit of trouble over here re engage the combo. I did a swipe down. And now we re engage the combo. And other than two, those those few seconds after the super move, other than those few seconds after, let's say five seconds after the super move, this fight went smooth. This fight went very smooth. I don't think I had one mistake except for that uh, unlucky super move. And I don't necessarily think that was a mistake. It was just not the greatest time to have after a super move. I think after, other than that, I did the perfect fight here. We're going to get to some uh, pretty crazy amounts of combo with Black Manta over here. But yeah, obviously the damage is not gonna be so high because uh, we don't have crit chance and uh, crit damage and lethal attack chance and that's the main uh, the main source of damage for Black Manta. But still, we're, we're dealing some damage, we're doing fine. And uh, you can kind of, it's funny because you can kind of see the increase uh, that the Sword of Salvation gives because um, sometimes we deal more damage over here on swipe attacks and that's because those are the ones that power drain. So as soon as she's on zero power bars, our damage slightly increases and it's something that's uh, nice to see. 
Again, here it's not really worth it to do the special tree or the special two. Special tree uh, is not really worth because it's not gonna do a lot of damage, we deal more damage by doing constant basic attacks. Uh, and uh, he's not gonna stun her anyway because she's stun resistant and she's combo interruptible so we don't really need to do that. And when it comes to the special 2, that's gonna inflict some burning effect on the enemy so that would reduce the defense. You might be like, Sigvald, why are you not reducing her defense to do more damage because she has zero defense. Like I tested this out exactly with Manta. I would go ahead and use special 2, even stack it 2 or 3 times, we would deal the exact amount of damage that we deal right now, so uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, this was a smooth fight if I might say so myself. Again, we messed up a bit after the super move, but other than that, we got into a decent amount of combo, not the highest combo I've ever gotten to. Definitely there's some room for more combo, maybe with uh, Just League Flash doing the combo, but uh, yeah, this went well. She's pretty easy to combo and drop, like I don't regard her as a hard to combo and drop fight. And Black Manta doesn't have the fastest attacks, so again, not the easiest character to combo and drop with. But yeah, it's, it's gonna go well enough here. And the total amount of damage done is 29.2 yeah not even 30 million with the black manta peep even though we don't have crit chance and crit damage so you might think oh there's no luck involved there is some luck involved we uh, have to uh, hit fast attack chances there's still the uh, random generated effect of uh, fast attack chance but yeah now we're getting back to the server banshee fight uh, we're going to have uh, the Sword of Salvation on uh, Reverse Flash, we're going to have a level 1 Trigon Staff on uh, Power Girl, and we're going to have uh, Old Blaze on Silver Banshee. Still think Old Blaze deals far more damage on Silver Banshee over here. So we're gonna go ahead and go with that. Old Blaze would have done more damage even on King uh, if we didn't have Raven, but uh, I, we need Raven to stack with that Sword of Salvation multiplier as well. So that's definitely worth doing on King. Sir Banshee in, another special one. And what I find interesting about this fight is that uh, you can kind of uh, have another way to tag in with Sir Banshee provided by the fact that the enemy is combo interruptible. Because a lot of times we do this and then we go do two basic attacks after we finish the first combo. Like combo interrupt once with reverse flash and then two, do like two basic attacks and tag in the middle of the combo with Sir Banshee. That seems safer and at the same time that seems to allow us to get to higher combos. And at the same time this is totally safe to maintain four all blade stacks. You can see that when I do that I do have all blades, four all blade stacks at all times active. So eh, it would be interesting to be able to do this against Dr. Fate in normal raids but... Sadly, we're not able to do so. Yeah, the Sword of Salvation or Reverse Flash is something that's very powerful, even in normal raids, because you're not reliant anymore on his uh, passive, because with Sword Banshee in normal raids, you're reliant on the, his passive to work properly at the start of the fight, so you don't have power generation problems uh, all the way until the last minute. But that kind of mitigates that factor, so that's great. Sadly, I have the shit all blades on this account, like the old blades on this count has some lethal attack damage, which is not helping much. On the other account, I get damage on special tree and attack, so the silver bench on the other account is gonna do more damage regardless. But sadly, we'll have no sort of salvation at her disposal. Backing off, so far this fight went perfectly. It went perfectly so far. Special tree in there, not a special one. Sword Banshee in there, special 3, backing off, special 1, reverse flash in, and right now she decides to mess it up and the next 20 seconds of this fight will be just a pain to re-engage the combo because she doesn't give me any window to start a combo on her, and that's that's why we didn't manage to kill her in this fight, again sorry for the people watching on stream, I managed to kill, fight af kill her afterwards, the, the pit that I did to, to clean it up is really not worth showing and uh, to be to be honest I kind of forgot to record it but it was just 1 million damage so it's not really worth it but yeah fat rip on the silver banshee fight like really if we didn't mess up on the last few minutes because of her backing off uh, with that special too we would have managed to kill her off uh, but yeah fat rip let's take a look at the rewards
Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. Did we get Raven for beating Heroin God Raven? Because you know that I complained that having a chance to get Raven is shit. Because some people get to Raven every single heroic, some people will not get Raven for a very long time. Well, yeah, what, what did you expect at this point? We got ourselves a boy Blade Master Robin over here. I think I have 2,000 additional shards for him at this point. It is what it is, I was not expecting to get Raven, but again... I really do not agree with the chance-based system, uh, since you can't do endlessly soul raid and get endless rewards. Well, you can do the tier 7, but it's gonna be a slower and slower progress until you get there. But all that being said, thanks so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments if you got uh, Raven or not so far from the soul raid rewards. And all that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a future upload. Bye!